Everything indoors is kind of artificial. We can't build everything and still have a natural world. I don't think everybody has this resource and I don't know if people realize that it's here and how lucky we are to have it. We're literally 15, 20 minutes from downtown Louisville. All right, boys and girls, if you want to come to the floor, we're going to have a seat. What's a cold-blooded animal that we have out here in the parklands? Polar bear! <laughs> that's warm-blooded, but they live in a cold area, so that's a really good guess. Wednesday Wonders is definitely a huge part of our homeschooling curriculum. There's a question or a wonder of the week, then we'll do you know, an experiment or a craft, and then almost always we go hiking. They will seem very stressed, and as soon as we go outside, it's just like, oh, you can just feel like the tension just melting off of them. It's definitely our happy place. <laughs> Their little faces light up when they're really interested in something. <laughs> that adventurous part of the parklands comes back home with us. So I'm out here every morning. It goes really well with the coffee. I am probably more physically fit than I was 20 years ago. Coming out here, it is a stress reliever. I'll ride my bike or I'll hike out in the woods and I'm not closed into thinking about work or life's issues. There's spots where you don't hear any traffic, you don't hear any planes, and it doesn't really feel like you're in the city. I'm a little free for a while when I come out here. The Parkland system gives the community a place of respite where they can get back to nature, enjoy some time away from the hustle and bustle of uh, you know, the urban environment that we typically live in. And that's what this park is all about, is having something um, natural where you can, you know, see the birds and the bugs and the wildflowers and the weeds and, and everything else in nature that's good. And you know, we're in uh, eastern Jefferson County, you know, the most populous county in the state, and I'm trout fishing. With them getting the private funding, they're able to have a little more power in the decision making of what they want to do at the park. There are people out there that want to support, and I think the more we get that information out, then other people that don't know about the parklands, once they get out here, I mean, you can't help but love it. If these kids aren't connected to the environment when they grow up to be leaders, then it's gonna go away. You know, we're not gonna have these great wild spaces anymore. 